up Weddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Magi Labyrinth of Magic chapter 324 and last chapter was insane. Sinbad um, had an epiphany that he had this god complex and that he was doing everything for him, that he was power hungry and based on what we saw after um, Ugo separated the white Simbad's white rook from um, his dark rook, it and which ended up being David. It looked like da the dark rook from David, like was really just taking over Sinbad. And I'm hope I'm hoping in um, Sinbad no Boken we're gonna get more like near the end of Sinbad no Boken we're gonna get more of an explanation of when David. Um, started like really uh what's the word am i thinking when david uh initially started whispering to sinbad because from um the point where we're at in sinbad no Boken, he does not have any dark rook that we know of yet he's still he still mostly has white rook he hasn't really done anything just done anything like extremely dark yet but i think by the end of the war is um the parthivian war uh, arc in Simeon Boken. I think that's when we're gonna have our first encounter with David and we're gonna get more of the explanation of the Dark Rook uh, of how the Dark Rook um, infiltrated uh, Simba. but man Ugo is a boss and you notice at the end of last chapter because a lot of people were were kind of mad that Simba died but did you, but no one realized that Simba had like when you saw the white rook of Sinbad, Sinbad looked happy. He looked happy. He felt free. That this burden he had was just lifted. And I think the dark rook from David was causing this burden on him. That it was just so much weight on him that he just couldn't take it anymore. And I think to an extent, and this is why I think he was having this God complex, I think it was from David. I, I honestly do. I think David was causing him to have this God complex. Because um, up to the point where we're at in Sinbad no Boken, before David infiltrated him anyway, he didn't seem, he doesn't seem like he has this God, God complex at all. So that's what I, my theory is. I think that David, the infiltration of David, really just uh, polluted Sinbad's Rook. And I Ugo, good job, man. Ugo's just doing what he needs to do. I'm I'm on Ugo's side. A lot of people are hating Ugo. Well, in the Moggy community, well, you know, Ugo's doing what he needs to do, man. What do you want him to do? Let him go inf infiltrate the Sacred Palace? Shit. I swear, some of, some of the freaking manga fan bases piss me off sometimes. But anyway, David was on the verge of taking over the Sacred Palace, but Ugo still stands far above him. Oh man, look at Ugo! Ugo's like a, sitting like a boss! The god's multi-layered structure. Ooh, I thought David was already dead! Because he looked like, it looked like last chapter Ugo killed David, but nope. How could this be? I'm already the guardian of the sacred palace. This is what happens when you become a god that exceeds God himself. What do you mean? Elder David, I saw right through your and Arvid's plan. I knew that you would use Sinbad to get here. Oh, Ugo! Oh, Ugo is a boss! No, you couldn't possibly have known on account of my absorbing of Il Ilya. What? You're right, the Sacred Palace is a system des designed to circulate the energy of Il um, Ilya's uh, world efficiently. And since I'm also a part of Il Ilya's world, well, mankind shouldn't be able to predict God's actions. Ooh! He is just, oh man. <laughs> you are just getting trolled right now, David. Uh, dude, D David, just sit down. Just sit your ass down. <laughs> uh, David, this is when you just need to shut the fuck up. But this is where I changed my mind, after all. Isn't it fair to say that when God peers into his creation, one can also peer back? So what are you trying to say? In other words, I had too much free time and I realized something while carrying out my research. I'm talking about the God's multi-layered structure and, that, and the means by which you can trade ranks within its order. What? Oh my God. Oh man, Ugo! Oh man, 
no, no. It's as I told Simba before, a character that appears within a story can never exceed the one writing the story itself. But if you think about reality as a multi-layered structure, then it would, wouldn't be strange that there's a hierarchy even amongst the gods, would it? Incredible. I never thought such a thing could happen. I think my loneliness is finally at an end. I get the, uh, the feeling that you and I could be friends. Come, let us uh, converse as fellow gods. Hmm. Ugo's like, no. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What is this place? It's so bright. A library. I can't move my body. Rise and shine, are, but this is the sacred palace! The sacred palace? She's like flipping out! Did Lord Simbad and Elder David succeed? If you're looking for Elder David and Il um, Illa, they're over there. Oh, our father? <laughs> oh my god! He's currently in the middle of creating a lower um, order world, just as he wished, uh, just as he wished, complete with Rook, a cosmos, even life. You stole power from him again, didn't you? Uh, but the life forms of that lower order world won't be able to understand their creator's will, just like the minuscule uh, cells that form a human being. They'll never be able to comprehend the meaning of their existence or the will of the human body. They uh, um, comprise, in a broader sense, an endless hierarchy of worlds exist, and I just swapped the order of the gods in those worlds. Oh, Ugo! Ugo! <laughs> Oh, man! Oh, no! I... I'm speechless! <laughs> Damn! Okay! Oh, man. Ugo 2016! Make America God again! I swear! Don't fuck with Ugo, man! Just, just don't! Ugo would be the best fucking president ever. He he would. Like, he would... Uh, fuck, Ugo would be the best moderator. Dude, I can see Ugo as the best fucking moderator of this debate. He would probably just tell Trump, Dude, sit here and your weave's ass down, motherfucker. Seriously, just, just shut the fuck up. Y you shouldn't even be here. The media wrote you... Wanted you here. You didn't... You weren't supposed to be here, man. Why the fuck are you, you, the only reason you're here is because, uh, the media wanted you here. The media wanted the vote, manipulated the voters so you'd be here. That's what happened. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ugo, Ugo for president, man. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Ugo for president. Oh, man. Unforgivable. But I only uh, realized Il Illa's wishes. Do you think you're a god? Exactly. <laughs> I love Ugo. Ugo's like, I'm good. I was like, you really, do you think you're a god? Ugo's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Ugo, wait, Ugo? I am the almighty god of Aladdin and the other's world. I have, I have to manage this world that Solomon entrusted to me properly. And I'm doing well, aren't I, Solomon? Since Aladdin left, I've been so bored. Um, Arba, you said that you've lived for more than a thousand years, but there's no time in the sacred palace. As for me, it's been more than, oh my god. I, I don't know if I want to know this number. Hold on a second. I gotta calculate this. There's, um, hold on a second. Thousand, million, billion, trillion. Wait. Thousand, million, billion, trillion. Um, quadrillion. Quintillion, six, um, wait a minute, wait, there's septillion, um, I'm trying to think of, uh, damn, I'm trying to think of the numbers, wait, hold on, let me go, let me do it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17. So it's 1 times 10 to the 17th power years. There you go, Nerdigans. I did it. For me, it's, it's as if more than 1 times 10 to the 17th power years have passed. But from now on, I'll no longer be alone. Because you are here. You were someone I admired long ago. Um, we Long ago, we were friends together with Solomon. Could we be, friend, uh, be friends again, Arba? 
So Ugo lost it after Aladdin left, huh? Aladdin left, huh? He's become a machine that mindless, mindlessly moves toward its towards its goal. But I can't oppose him. What should I do? Strange. If my sacred pal sacred palace's system is perfect, then how was the human able to breach its defenses even a little bit? Furthermore, if they feared him, then my uh, why haven't my Maki chosen another king? Sinbad frightens me. He's too close to being the perfect king vessel. Uncle Sinbad's brilliance is so overwhelming, I have a feeling that I'll be drawn onto the path he illuminates without realizing it. Oh, man. Ha ha ha, I'm, I am God. I am creating a world. But why do I sense that something's wrong? Is this fate? Is this really my destiny? Yes, and you're carrying it out well. To be, step, to be a stepping stone for me to rise to the summit. That was your role. So that's how it was, huh? Huh, Sinbad? Whoa. The sacred palace, the gods, and even destiny were, the, were mere stepping stones. Has Sinbad, the king of the, uh, of the seven seas, surpassed them all? An incredible new development awaits uh, um, in the next issue. And by the way, there is no chapter next week. What? Hold on a second. So David, so David's gone now. Hmm. Um, let's see. Where are you? The Magi, well, Ugo, the, in the sense, the Magi have already, I think that, I'm curious what you know against think. Who do you think the Magi are going to choose as the next king? I think it's going to be Alibaba. Alibaba is going to be the king. I think that's who's going to be the next king is Alibaba. Ali, is, is, or, um, Hakuryu. But I think it's going to be Alibaba. Because Alibaba has proven himself. Ugo. Have have you not watched what Alibaba has done with Aladdin and without Aladdin? Seriously, Ugo. I think, especially since now that Simbad's gone, I think it's gonna. I think Alibaba's gonna step up to the plate. I really do. I think Alibaba's going to lead everybody. He's going to be the next king. But, uh, the next king. Uh, I want to know what you nerdigans think about this. What do you think about, what do you think about what happened in this chapter? First of all, Ugo's just a boss. Like, I think that's hilarious what he fucking did to Harpo. I didn't think that, that shit was going to go down like this. I'm so surprised how shit went down with David and... Ugh, Ugo's OB. Like, Ugo is just... Well, Ugo is God, so... Yeah, it kind of makes sense. So don't fuck with God. Lesson learned, just don't fuck with Ugo. Ugo is God, man. <laughs> but, yeah. So, Nerdigans, let me know your thoughts about Ugo. Like, and what do you think? Who do you think is going to be the next king? Because everyone was scared Everyone was scared of Sinbad, and I think the reason why everyone was scared of Sinbad was because of his, uh, because of the dark rook that ended up being part, um, being a part of, uh, um, Sinbad because of David, but something that David said really was weird. That was interesting. I love that Sinbad's, or I love that David's like, I'm God, I'm creating a world. Why do I, he does, he, he says that he knows that something is wrong. But even David says here about, he was using Sinbad all along, and we knew it. To be a stepping stone for me to rise to the summit, that was your role. So that's how it was, huh, Sinbad? I'm curious what you nerdigans think about Sinbad. Do you think Sinbad, there's a, no way Sinbad comes to life. Sinbad's gone. I, I don't give a fuck what you nerdigans tell me. Sinbad's gone. He's dead. He's one with the Rook. Ugo, don't bring Sinbad back to life. This is Alibaba's time to shine. Plus, Alibaba's getting married. So, there you go. I think Ali, because 
I think Alibaba is going to um, become the next head of the uh, Seven Seas Alliance. He really is. But that's just, that's my thought. Who do you think is going to be the next king of uh, King Vessel? I think it's Alibaba. Um, it's either going to be Alibaba or Hakuryu. But based on what the Magi, uh, but, uh, the majority of the Magi have um, decided, I think, with the exception of Judar, actually, hell, even Judar, to an extent, would probably agree that Alibaba is definitely the next king. Because remember that little adventure Judar and Alibaba had. So, yeah, I think it's going to be Alibaba. It definitely will be. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans, Inc. And um, if, uh, if you love what I'm doing and want to uh, contribute to the Nerdigans, Inc. Expans expansion, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans, Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans, Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. As well as follow me on Twits, Twitch, okay, Twits, aka Twitter, Twitch. Um, fuck. Uh, shit. I, I just totally forgot. Um, and friend me on PlayStation Network. And tonight I'm going to be doing my Super Comedy Fantasy Guru live stream. So if you want to come and talk to me about Moggy and let me know your thoughts, go to my Von Live channel. Link is in the uh, description box below as well. And guest chat is enabled so you don't have to create an account. It's just for you guys. So until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.